I love my Rocket Apartamento. I love the size of it, I love the build quality, and I think that it's still quite possibly the best looking E61 machine on the market. However, that's not to say that it's without its own set of flaws, most notably the fact that there is no PID, there is no brew pressure gauge, this one is just for boiler pressure, and even if there was a brew pressure gauge, the fact that it would probably read closer to 12 or 13 bar straight out of the box, rather than the 9 bar that you were probably expecting. Despite these flaws, instead of selling the rocket and buying something else, I set out to address them with a couple of relatively inexpensive accessories that I'm going to share with you now. I will have them both linked down in the description below. First, and probably most important to me, I wanted to lower down that brew pressure. But in order to do that, I needed a way to measure the pressure at the group head. Not wanting to spend hundreds of dollars on a SCASE device, I instead opted for a cheap pressure gauge that taps into the infusion channel via this front bolt. Installation was as simple as waiting for the machine to cool, unscrewing the bolt, adding some Teflon tape, and screwing in the gauge. Now that I was able to actually get a pressure reading, it was time to lower down the brew pressure. On the Apartamento, this involves removing the water reservoir, top plate, and reservoir holder in order to access this adjustment nut. One and a half turns later, and I was sitting at a much better pressure when testing with a blind basket. Next, I wanted to tackle the brewing temperature. On non-PID machines like this, a good temperature surfing routine can give you surprisingly consistent results. For example, waiting for the heating element to turn on, and then flushing for exactly 15 seconds. However, having an actual readout of the exact temperature at the group is obviously more convenient, especially when you want to just tweak ever so slightly for a different roast level. Again, this front access point was my way in, this time for a digital temperature gauge. Once installed, I was very curious to test my current routine to see what kind of temperatures I had previously been brewing at when I was running blind. The first thing that didn't necessarily surprise me all that much was that on busy mornings I was not preheating this machine enough. On the first morning that I had the temperature gauge installed, I walked up to the machine and it was still at around 82 degrees Celsius or 180 Fahrenheit. That explains my slightly under extracted shots in the morning and like I said, I'm not particularly surprised. The second thing that did surprise me was how long it takes to clear overheated water from an E61 group head. On the weekends when I let this machine warm up for 30, 40, 50 minutes, I will often get overheated water in the group head and have to purge it out to stop it from steaming and sputtering and absolutely scalding my coffee bed. And that is something that I do. What I did not realize was how long I had to purge it for in order to get it down to a normal brewing temperature. Sometimes upwards of 40 seconds and almost a full 200 milliliters of water needed to pass through until it dropped back down to around 200 Fahrenheit something that I did not know until I got that gauge. While not unexpected, I was still nicely surprised by the increases in consistency I saw with the help of these two accessories. The lowered brew pressure allowed me to now pull shots with less channeling, meaning that bottomless port of filter shots ran far cleaner, and in combination with knowing what temperature I was running at to the exact degree, meant that I just overall felt like I finally have the control I always wanted over this machine. Now obviously, one downside is that you cannot use these two accessories at the same time. However, this really isn't as big of an issue as it might seem at first. Once I knew that I had my machine lowered down to 9 bar, the pressure gauge is something I can easily live without. Pressure is really more of a broad indicator of shot quality when used on its own. So once you know that your machine is dialed in to a certain maximum pressure, the rest of the dialing in process is really better handled by simply analyzing your flow rate, your brew ratio, and the shot temperature. For that reason, the temperature gauge is the one that I will be leaving on full time going forward. Now you also might have noticed this flow control knob that I also added in during this modification process but that is something for a completely separate video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that one. Again, I will have both these accessories linked down in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.